let's look at how plasma actually operates. Not in terms of how it behaves in a laboratory and, and what it does in physics, but rather the mechanics behind it that we've observed and are repeated across all scales of the universe. First, plasma has been demonstrated to form double helix structures and then form itself into cords or long strains that resemble coaxial cords or just wires in general. These are structures commonly called Birkeland currents, and they exist between solar systems and even galaxies. This self-organizing double helix structure resembles DNA in ways that we still haven't quite understood. And it appears that when energy organizes itself, it typically arranges itself in these double helix patterns. Another amazing feature of plasma that we've recognized is that when plasma is able to self-organize itself around a central core point, it's able to form outer layers or outer shells around it that are commonly called double layers. And in between those double layers and the core can be any gradations of density of electric charge or energy in different regions. The closer you are to the center, the more dense the energy is. And these double layers can actually stack one on top of each other, creating concentric rings or spheres around that central point. And we've seen them go as far as many numbers out, not just a single one. You can see this most clearly if you look at the different atmospheric layers of the Earth, such as the ionosphere, the magnetosphere. This self-organizing shell, double layers, this outer barrier, has even been observed at the far reaches of our solar system. 